that we have already a significant number of participants and we will start the today's section entitled to explore the business opportunities in the Ukrainian market and mainly dedicated to present the e-platform Nazovni and the opportunities that this instrument may provide to the business community. Uh, this type of sessions that AP develops as main purpose uh, to provide update information uh, on international markets and focus as part of this strategy to support the internationalization of the Portuguese economy and the national companies. Uh, today's session includes the participation of the Embassy of Ukraine in Portugal and elements of the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Ukrainian uh, responsible for the platform Nazovni project. A special thanks to our guest speakers, exactly Mrs. Marina Mikhailenko, Mrs. Alexandra Sulogov, and Ms. Yulia Koronova for being with us in this initiative. As I told you, we will ask everyone to keep your mics off and if you have any questions to use the period of uh, question and answers and our guest speakers will have the pleasure to clarify all the questions. We will start this session uh, inviting Mr. Paulo Vaz, member of administration board of AD for the welcome words, uh, followed by the intervention of His Excellency, the ambassador of Ukraine in Portugal. Mr. Paulo Vaz, please. Thank you, George. Uh, good morning to you all. First of all, a very special thanks to uh, Your Excellency Marina Mikhailenko, the uh, Ambassador of Ukraine in Portugal, also to Ms. Alex Alexandra Sologo, Head of the Exporters Department at the International Platform uh, Nazovni, uh, also to Ms. Yulia Kononova, Manager of the Exports, uh, Exporters Department of the International Platform Nazovni, which are uh, the, 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 the speakers uh, that are going to uh, uh, be with us during this, uh, this webinar. Uh, I would like to say a few words uh, starting this, uh, this webinar, entitled Business Opportunity in Ukraine, which we carry out in partnership with the Embassy of Ukraine in Portugal, to whom I thank uh, once again to uh, Her Excellency Madam Ambassador Marina Mikhailenko, Air Presence, and all the collaboration uh, shown, as well the participation of all the entrepreneurs who take part in this event. The strategy of the internationalization of the Portuguese economy, whether through exports or investment, is for us a fundamental objective. Increasing exports and gaining greater market shares is, however, an ad added ch challenge in a very difficult international situation, particularly due to the effects of the war in Europe with the invasion of Ukraine by Russia, with particularly affected Ukraine, but certainly the entire economic bloc where Portugal is located, the European uh, Union as well. Despite the particularly serious international environment, Ukraine must be part of the process of diversifying destination markets for Portuguese exports and investment. We recognize in both directions there will be numerous opportunities for Portuguese and Ukraine companies. In true, uh, in true that Ukraine has not been in the top of the main external customers of Portugal, occupy, occupying only the position 75 in 22, uh, rising, however, for the position 60, 61 in the first half of this year, 2023. It's also true that Portuguese exports to Ukraine have little expression in the calculation of Portuguese export of goods. Last year, they represent only 0.004%. However, between January and June of this year, Portuguese exports to Ukraine recorded a very significant dynamic, rising by 166.5% compared to the same period last year, above the average growth of the, uh, of the national exports that were around 3.3%. 
the volatility, the volatility seen in terms of exports also occurs in the flow of imports from Ukraine, which decreased by 60.9% uh, 60 in, 20, uh, uh, in 2022, reaching to 247 million. And uh, it, it was in 2021 to 297 million, representing only around 0.2% 0, 0 of the to total Portuguese imports of goods and occupying the position 41 in the ranking of external suppliers. In the first half of this year, similar to what was re registered in exports, we also uh, uh, saw a considerable increase in the flow of imports, plus 116.6% in similar terms, which meant that Ukraine increased its position in the ranking of external suppliers to the position 27. It is important to note that in the first part of 2023, Portuguese imports of goods from Ukraine already reached 265 million euros, that, that is more than 95% of the value recorded in the entire year up to 2022. Along, the, uh, along with international trade, also in foreign in their direct investment, Ukraine is not yet among the main countries of origin and destination. In December 22, it occupied the position 37 in the foreign, foreign direct investment and position 56 in the Portuguese direct investment abroad. Considering the data mentioned above, it is undeniable that there is a large, space, a large space for an intensification of bilateral economic relationship. AP feels the obligation to stimulate the efforts to intensify the internationalization process of our economy, both in terms of trade and investment. That's why the, this webinar on business opportunities in Ukraine is so relevant. Throughout this morning, we will have the opportunity to attend the presentation and dissemination of the Ukraine international platform Nazovni, an important digital tool for promoting and disseminating business opportunities and seeking partnerships. It is certainly an instrument with great potential for promoting and exchanging business opportunities between Ukraine and Portugal. Among the objectives is to facilitate Ukrainian exporters in their search for partners abroad, as well as helping foreign, foreign entities to establish commercial contacts with Ukrainian companies. I will finish by, by, uh, I will finish by emphasizing that, uh, that it is with great pleasure, honor, and pride that AP is associated with this initiative within the framework of its strategy to support the internationalization of Portuguese companies, namely Business On The Way project. Through the Business of On The Way project, AP has carried out since 1990 a wide range of actions among business mission, fairs, seminars, forum, among other initiatives, in which it has already involved hundreds of companies having already made four business missions to Ukraine between 2008 and 2012. It is with great satisfaction that I look at the very positive outcome of, the, of all these initiatives. With the certainly, however, that we still have a way to go towards spreading bilateral economic relations with several countries, which naturally includes Ukraine, in which AP and certainly the Ukrainian embassy in Portugal are deeply committed. We reaffirm our fully availability to continue supporting companies 
which have been doing here in AP for the last 174 years. Thank you so much for your attention, and I wish you a very profitable day and a very good meeting. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Paul Vaz, and with no more delays, we will now pass the word to Mrs. Ambassador of Ukraine in Portugal, Mrs. Marina Mikhailenko. Ambassador, the audience is yours. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, dear Mr. Paolo Lash. Thank you very much, uh, dear Mr. Jorge Marcolino, uh, dear members and partners uh, of the Portuguese Business Association, uh, Chamber of Commerce and Industry, uh, dear International Platform Zolni team, and dear participants. Uh, it's my pleasure, of course, to be here today. And uh, first of all, I would like to use this opportunity uh, to express gratitude uh, to Portugal for all you have done for Ukraine at this particular challenging uh, time for my country, for the very first day uh, of unprovoked and unjustified war of Russia against Ukraine, uh, Portugal has demonstrated its unconditional support to Ukraine. And after uh, the full-fledged war started, the political dialogue between our country has significantly increased. Uh, you have provided us military, humanitarian, economic support. Uh, you support our uh, European and Euro-Atlantic integration. You joined and actively participate in the work of the core group on the establishment of the special tribunal for the crime of aggression against Ukraine. You joined the G7 declaration and are ready to work together with uh, other countries for security guarantees. Uh, uh, Portugal uh, has also demonstrated a true solidarity uh, with a lot of Ukrainians who were forced to flee the orders of war and found uh, refuge in our wonderful country. So this means uh, that our uh, I'm sorry, colleague, could you unmute mute your microphone? Thank you. So Portugal has, uh, this means that our relations uh, have reached a new level and have turned uh, into strong partner relation. However, uh, there is a huge unused potential in our bilateral economic cooperation. Uh, and uh, Mr. Uh, Paolo uh, Vash already uh, presented us uh, the figures uh, from the Portuguese side, and I will give you the figures from uh, the Ukrainian side. In terms of bilateral trade between Ukraine and Portugal, according to the result of 2022, Portugal ranked uh, 27th in the vol volume of uh, bilateral trade between Ukraine and European countries, with a specific weight uh, of 0.4% uh, of the total global trade. Uh, as the result of uh, Russia's war against Ukraine uh, during 2022, the trade to NOVA with Portugal dropped down 55%. But uh, uh, fortunately, this year we can see the positive dynamics uh, in the bilateral trade, and that is why we are very much interested in deepening and intensifying our economic cooperation, and that is why uh, Embassy, together with the Portuguese Business Association, Chamber of Commerce and Industry, initiated this uh, seminar, which I hope will be useful for our Portuguese partners. Dear friends, the last two years uh, are crucial for us uh, from the point of view of our European integration. Last year, the EU granted the candidate status uh, to Ukraine and Moldova, and we believe uh, this decision is not only a reaction to the sense of sympathy or compassion and not just a political signal uh, of support during the uh, rule war against Ukraine. During the last nine years, from 2014, uh, when the association agreement between Ukraine and the European Union was signed, and the DCFTA deep and com comprehensive free trade area between Ukraine and EU started to operate, we invested a lot of efforts uh, in implementation of necessary reforms. For these nine years, the EU became Ukraine's largest trading partner, 
for the last two years, we have been exporting all our products uh, to the European Union without any duties based on the EU's unilateral decision. In the nearest time, uh, we expect to start negotiations on amendments uh, to the association agreement to eliminate tariffs uh, completely and uh, permanently. Ukraine become a part of the EU energy market. We join the custom and fiscalis programs. We have so-called transport visa-free regime until June 2024. Ukraine continues to work on uh, concluding an agreement on technical regulation and so-called an industrial visa-free regime, uh, which would facilitate the export of more industrial products to the EU market, uh, and so on and so forth. And of course, we hope that positive report of the European Commission within the frame of, uh, of the enlargement package uh, 2023 in October, which uh, will take place in October this year, as well as uh, political unity of the EU member states will allow us to start EU accession talks uh, uh, until the end of this year. So, dear friends, uh, Ukraine considers the private sector as a driver of economic development. And one of the tools uh, promoting the integration of Ukrainian business into the global economy is the international platform Nazovny under the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine. And I'm pleased also uh, uh, to give the floor to the Nazovny team. Uh, Mr. Alexandra Sologub and uh, uh, Miss Alexandra Sologub and Miss Yulia Kononova, uh, who will give you more information regarding the capabilities of the platform and opportunities for uh, cooperation between Ukraine and uh, Portuguese businesses. Uh, thank you very much, and we are waiting for all of you uh, in Ukraine. Thank you. Uh, good morning, dear participants and uh, dear guests, uh, dear speakers. It's a pleasure and honor for us to participate in this event. Uh, so uh, I would like to present the Nazovny platform in general. I will share my screen. So uh, Nazovny is an uh, international platform. It's a digital tool to promote the Ukrainian business entities in foreign markets. The, actually, the name Nozovny itself in, uh, in Ukrainian, uh, it's translated into beyond or outside. So this is actually our goal to bring the Ukrainian companies outside to promote them and to support in export. Nozovny has been uh, established in uh, 2021 Excuse me for a technical. Once again. So Nazovny has been created uh, in uh, December 2021, and then um, um, as the war started, we actually were trying to renew and um, reinforce the work of the platform, and we did it. We really reached a great result uh, until the present time. Nazovny is a service that was created uh, with the institutional and information support of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh, of Ukraine, and it offers a powerful tool of uh, economic diplomacy to the business. When we started to, uh, to analyze uh, how the government can cooperate with uh, our Ukrainian business, uh, we saw that uh, there, are, there were many applications to our uh, uh, embassies all over the world. Uh, that's why this uh, platform has been created. But basically, it's not only the online platform. It's a tool. It's like a service that Ukrainian companies can use nowadays. Nazovny plays an essential role in export promotion and support, and we provide the Ukrainian exporters with possibility to use uh, these governmental resources. As we are saying, Nazovny is a catalyst for Ukrainian business relations to the world, because 
we are developing the Ukrainian exports through embassies and general consulates, which we have more than 120 all over the world. Our economic diplomats support Ukrainian companies and help them to enter on the market. We structure the dialogue between business and economic diplomats, and as well, we're creating new export opportunities for the Ukrainian entrepreneurs and give them the appropriate support. Also, we are trying to strengthen the position of Ukrainian businesses in the world because we have really great potential and really great companies that can uh, lead to the fruitful, beneficial cooperation between uh, Ukraine and um, other company, countries. Uh, we know that export is a demanding and uh, multifaceted job. So uh, that's why we are trying to support the Ukrainian companies on this way and combine the capabilities of Ukrainian diplomacy with the needs of Ukrainian business. Actually, which role Mazzoni has in all this process? We created the platform, which is very easy to use uh, for, the, for the companies. We uh, give them the instrument uh, to support uh, and to promote their business. We increase the probability of real contact. And also we promote communication with potential partners. We accompany the exporters and all stages of their journey. And later on, I will show you how. Apart from that, from the business, uh, we usually ask about the flexibility, about the readiness to change according to the export needs, and also the willingness to export and improve. So uh, I'm sorry for the technical issues that slide is not. Yes. So this uh, actually this is the view how the how the uh, in general the Nazovnya platform uh, looks like. Um, we uh, for the Ukrainian business that uh, want to get the assistance uh, in the. Uh, searching for the market or opening and widening their uh, export capabilities. Uh, we provide uh, two services to find the market when we analyze the business, Ukrainian business and give them um, recommendations which country to choose for their export. Or when they are ready to export, they uh, submit the application for the uh, export. Uh, and uh, in this case, we uh, talk to the company, we give the consultations, we uh, give them services, which I will show you later on. And um, apart from that, on this platform, uh, you can read about the platform itself, questions and answers. Uh, you can see the information about the export abroad um, and create these types of applications. So basically, which services Nazovny provides for Ukrainian companies? We help to search the, for the partners and we provide the contacts. Uh, our economic diplomats are working on these uh, capabilities inside the country. We analyze and recommend the market to expand export opportunities. We prepare information about the expositions, exhibitions, and uh, trade shows, tenders in other countries where Ukrainian companies can participate. We advise on conducting business in the target country. Our economic diplomats, they provide uh, all necessary information about the business feature and peculiarities of the country. We are helping to eliminate the trade barriers. And as well, we give information about the business and trade associations and ways to improve the export. Nazovny itself, uh, it's not only about the platform, as I said. That's why we call it as a service. Uh, so we have, uh, as I mentioned, the information about the exhibitions and trade shows, which is our Nazovnya Expo block. Here we create the most profitable opportunities for the participation in uh, business events, exhibitions, international trade shows, and B2B events, which you know is a great opportunity to get the real contacts, to get the new partners, and to uh, expand the export opportunities. We have the Nazovny match uh, where we um, 
engage uh, buyers from other countries to get to know Ukrainian uh, manufacturers directly. And my colleague Yulia, she will tell more about this uh, great opportunity. In, uh, when the Nazovni actually started, mostly services were for uh, Ukrainian companies in uh, 2021. But we were developing and we uh, were trying to get more opportunities for the international cooperation. Uh, that's how Nazovni Match uh, was created. Also, we have Nazovni Retail. It's actually retail campaigns in the supermarkets and the shops uh, abroad. Our economic diplomats are working on the promoting Ukrainian uh, products and brands uh, all over the world. We help to represent Ukrainian manufacturers in the trade networks, and we also help to increase the sales of already presented products. Apart from that, we have uh, communication um, events and communication campaigns. So we started Nazovni Talks. Uh, it's a project that helps uh, Ukrainian companies to understand better the um, peculiarities and features of uh, international markets of uh, different countries. So uh, with this help, Ukrainian business is adapting to get better understanding of opportunities for the worldwide cooperation, as well as to discover cultural, economic and legal aspects of uh, different countries. And uh, uh, in the, apart from all that, we have uh, Nazovni Tech. It's another direction of uh, our cooperation. It's actually about the promotion and development of economic, scientific and diplomatic potential of Ukraine through joint scientific projects, engagement of international experience. So uh, since the time Nazovni uh, is working, we got uh, some really great results. First of all, uh, around 1,500 companies already registered at Nazovni. When company is registering, Ukrainian company is registering at Nazovni, uh, we do the check. We check the company, we check the registration of this company. We talk to every company that is registering on the platform and giving the application uh, to get better understanding of uh, the company itself, of the product, of the business, uh, which uh, services the company would like to get about their experience. So later on, we can work with it at Nazovni Match service. We have different companies registered in such areas uh, like uh, light, food, cosmetics, and pharmaceutical industries, uh, engineering, wood, uh, industrial electrical equipment, and um, IT services, other different services. So really for this um, almost 20 months of working of Nazovni, we have uh, great results and a big database of the companies. This company is applied to Nazovni and created uh, more than 6,000 applications uh, for the export, which our uh, economic diplomats process. Mainly 80% of uh, applications are all already closed and it brought good results for Ukrainian companies. We have uh, 570 applications for the um, market uh, analysis, where we mm, recommend the companies, the prospective markets, to export their products. Uh, for this time, uh, more than 80 exhibitions uh, for 400 uh, companies have been uh, organized, and our economic diplomats gave um, really great um, conditions like or benefits for these uh, companies who can uh, present and uh, visit uh, the international exhibition. And more than 20 retail campaigns have been organized uh, in different countries like Italy, Poland, Latvia, Estonia, Czech Republic, and even Jordan, where Ukrainian companies can present their uh, goods uh, uh, on the shelves of uh, foreign uh, supermarkets and shops. So, uh, we also getting the feedback from uh, our users, and we have 67% of the net promoter score, which shows that um, companies are ready to work with us. They they like our service, and um, they continue using it. So basically, Nazovni is a tool for uh, international cooperation, 
and I really hope that we can strengthen our cooperation between Ukraine and Portugal. So I would like to pass the word to my colleague Yulia, who will give uh, more detailed information about our cooperation with the foreign partners. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Olga Sologo, for your intervention. We will move now uh, to the intervention of Mrs. Yulia Granova, manager of the export department of the International Park for Nazovni. This is Yulia, please. Hello to all. My name is Yulia Kononova. I'm a manager of the exporters department, international platform Nazovni. I'm glad to be present at this meeting and to represent you our platform Nazovni. My colleague Alexandra already uh, told you about our platform in general, and I would like uh, to tell you about uh, our platform in part of cooperation with uh, the importers, with foreign companies. But now I would like to add uh, that uh, our platform is uh, a really unique digital system in Ukraine for now, is one of kind. Only Nazomni platform provides Ukrainian manufacturers uh, possibility to make a request, obtain a direct contact with a diplomat and to receive any added support uh, and information. Uh, as uh, Alexandra mentioned before, uh, Nazovni platform uh, have um, uh, two main uh, digital tools. Uh, the first one, this is uh, export applications uh, to promote export for our initial manufacturers in Ukraine. And the second one is an uh, application to find an attractive market. Another one part of our platform and another one mission of our platform is help uh, foreign companies, importers, to find in Ukraine uh, local manufacturers, producers, and find interest in their goods. How it looks like? Um, foreign company, importer, uh, make a request, uh, registers on our platform, uh, complete uh, import applications as sent to us to Nazovni. Nazovni team uh, explore our initial export base and select the more appropriate uh, manufacturers and goods. And now I would like uh, to show how it looks like at our platform in life. So first step, what you uh, will need to open our website, Nazovni Online. If the website may be opened in Ukrainian language, you should switch on to English version. This is our main website. There are uh, many sectors. You can read about our platform in general. You can read how we help Ukrainian manufacturers to go abroad, how to create an export application, and any other information. For you as a foreign company, as importer, you need to find a sector create an import application. Click on it. Uh, we see a chapter create an imp import application. What is this? This is a list of uh, questions about uh, company, about foreign company, and about the goods, uh, uh, the goods interesting of the importer. Uh, you see the questions and uh, questions of the fields uh, that are required uh, to be filled in. Uh, they are marked with the asterisk and another field, this, uh, that, uh, this optional fields. And uh, we'll, uh, let's look at the fields in details. First field you should fill out is organization. You should indicate the juridical full name of your company. The next one is the uh, country. Country you represent, country of your registration. You can click on this button and you will see the drop down list where you can find your country. 
uh, the next one is a field of activity. The, pro the way is the same uh, from the drop down list. You would choose a field of that activity area where do business your company. The next one is the address of your company. This uh, is the optional field. If you can uh, not uh, indicate uh, your address if you don't want. The next one is the phone numbers. We especially uh, created a few fields uh, so you can indicate a mobile phone or landline phone numbers. The next one is social networks. If your company have a, a page in Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, you can also show it will help us too. And the next one is the uh, details of the uh, contact person uh, who completes this um, uh, import application and who will be responsible for communication. First name, last name, position, uh, date of birth. This is optional field. Maybe we would like to congratulate you with your birthday. And additional information, you can add any additional uh, information at your disposal about your company. What information would you like, would you uh, think is important? The next one uh, section is about exactly products, the import needs. You should indicate your product uh, name. What would, would you, what do you interest in? in? This is maybe a uh, name of the product or name of the service. Uh, the next one is the field of activity. The same way uh, from the drop down list, you find uh, area where you do business and uh, area uh, uh, of your product. Next one is a HC code. This is a custom code of your goods. You can indicate first four numbers or first six numbers. You can do it manually in this way, or you can click on this point and we provide for you a link, a special link. Um, click on this link. And uh, we can see open a site of World Custom Organization where you can find also a custom code of your product. This field is enough important for us because uh, on basis of this field of the custom code of your product, we also can uh, select a product uh, which will be uh, more uh, attractive for you. The next one is the terms of delivery according to Incoterms. Uh, this is optional fields. You can also choose um, uh, the best one for you from the drop down list. This, if this field is uh, extremely important for you, you can indicate uh, the Incoterms terms. For example, if you want the price of the product uh, will include the delivery cost or would you like that uh, exactly exporter organize all logistics to place of your destination, you should indicate terms of delivery. The next one is an estimated contract volume. That means is estimated approximate uh, amount of a contract would you like to conclude. You indicate the sum and <coughs> sorry, <coughs> and in this field you indicate the currency you would like to buy for the product. The next one, uh, next one is amount of delivery. That means you should indicate approximate amount uh, of the of your purchase. Do you plan, for example, ten tons? Uh, 20 tons in this field, you indicate numbers, and in this field, you indicate units of measurements. For example, kilograms, tons, meters, square meters, etc. And delivery terms. This point uh, means um, if this is important for you, you can indicate the date, for example, when uh, the goods have to be uh, delivered to place of your destination or, for example, uh, the date where the goods have to be dispatched from Ukraine. The next one is country of destination. Uh, this field should be filled out in case of place uh, of destination of the goods differs from the uh, country of registration of the importer. 
the next one uh, you uh, field you can add any files you think is important this may be uh, some information from your about your company about products you're interested in maybe some specification at your disposal and also uh, last field is comments you should indicate any additional information do you think it's important to we know about you company about your products the, all this information is important for us uh, to know what is this company what is the region uh, you represent what product do you interest in, in and this information will help us analyze our export bus uh, yes and to select for you the most appropriate um, Ukrainian manufacturers and goods and uh, in the, that's all in the end you click send and your import application will send to Nazovny uh, and we come back to our presentation So we pass it all the steps. We open our website. Uh, we uh, make a registration of our platform. Uh, we uh, complete um, import application. We filled out all the required fields. This is enough easy from the uh, for the importers. Uh, we complete import application, and uh, the next step. This is already work of Nazomni team. Uh, we receive an uh, import application, we study it in case oh, we need some um, additional information uh, or oh, we would like to uh, clarify some questions or views, uh, we contact directly to importer. Uh, we send, usually, uh, most often we um, uh, send an uh, uh, email to importer to the email address you indicated in the import application. So after we uh, clarify all the uh, important details, we start analyze our exporter ba base. We start exp uh, explore and to select uh, Ukrainian manufacturers that will be more uh, match for your inquiries. Uh, we uh, find the most interesting for you exporters. Exporters, uh, I would like to say that we have different kind of Ukrainian manufacturers with different, uh, not only kind of goods, but different uh, um, experience, uh, exactly export experience, and exactly uh, export in the, um, experience in, in different countries. Uh, we select for you uh, Ukrainian manufacturers, uh, create a list of these uh, exporters and send directly to the importers that list. Then importer uh, have possibility to contact, uh, choose it for us uh, Ukrainian producers uh, directly to discuss possibility of cooperation and clarify all further details about the cooperation, about the goods, about maybe needed uh, certification and uh, samples and other things. So this way is very easy. So welcome to our platform and create import application. In the next slide, uh, slide I would like to um, represent you some uh, statistic numbers of our platform in part of import application. Uh, this information on date uh, September 1st this year, 2023. So for now, uh, we have on our platform more than 1,600 uh, Ukrainian manufacturers, Ukrainian exporters registered on our platform and uh, get ready to uh, export their goods. Uh, there are uh, more than 80 import applications from uh, foreign companies registered at our platform. Uh, import applications submitted to, to exporters for consideration have, has number more than 100. That, mean, then, that means that uh, more than 100 Ukrainian exporters uh, receive uh, import application uh, and receive information about importers that would like to buy their products. 
Uh, and uh, um, now at our platform, uh, we have uh, representatives, we have foreign uh, companies from more than 30 countries from all over the world. You can see some of these countries, it's Germany, Poland, Italy, France, Great Britain, Portugal, of course, China, uh, Mexico, Qatar, Egypt, Spain, Romania, and others, of course. And on this slide, you can see top sectors of the economy that submitted import application. The most popular sector is the food products and confectionery. Uh, these products, um, uh, such as um, I can inform you that products is such as bakes, biscuits, sugar, eggs, honey, and many others. The second one sector of economy is agricultural industry, uh, represented by such products as wheat, corn, uh, many kinds of oil, wheat flour, and many other. The next one uh, is woodwork and furniture industry. Uh, this is MDF um, boards, wooden accessories, wooden products, uh, and furniture, of course. And the next one is equipment and tools. Uh, we have also uh, inquiries for, for uh, buying from Ukraine special equipment and special tools. Uh, Nzoni is permanently working on additional opportunities for Ukrainian uh, exporters. And uh, we developed our cooperation and concluded um, contracts, concluded memorandums, uh, as well as both with local organization and international organization. Uh, on the slide, you can see some of these organizations. This is American Chamber of Commerce in Ukraine, Italian Trade Agency, Ukraine Train House in Italy, UNDP, Federal Minister for Economic Affairs and Energy in Germany, Netherlands Agriculture and House Culture Organization in the Netherlands. With all this organization, we have concluded international memorandums for cooperation. So now you know much more about Nazovnia platform in general and in part of great import applications. And if you're interested in Ukraine in general, in uh, Ukrainian manufacturers, are uh, you interested to buy Ukrainian products, you are welcome to Nazomni platform. We will be glad to receive more Portuguese import application. If we will have, uh, we will help every uh, foreign company, every export importer, and exactly Portuguese importer to find in Ukraine a producer and to select the best goods for you. Thank you for your attention. If you have questions, I'm ready to reply. Thank you, Mrs. Viola, for your presentation. We will have now a period of question and answers, and we will uh, have the opportunity or give the opportunity to our audience if they have any questions uh, that want to be clarified by our guest speakers. Please, it's now the moment. You can open your mic and uh, just address the questions. I will ask you only to present yourselves and the company, so it's and the sector that you represent, if uh, to allow uh, a more uh, uh, specific uh, uh, reply. Good morning. My name is Rui Rodrigues from Lipar. I'd like to know if you have to see if you have to pay any fees to use this platform or it's free. Thank you. No, thank you for your questions. Our platform and all services we provided are absolutely free, both for uh, Ukrainian manufacturers, Ukrainian exporters. Uh, as well as foreign companies, importers. You don't need to pay anything. All is for free. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. I'd like to add, yeah, this is the governmental service that uh, supports actually nowadays the Ukrainian companies and also the promote the cooperation with the foreign partners. Uh, um, good morning. Thank you for your presentation. Um, one thing I'd like to understand, um, as since we are importing and in this demanding market, um, how what are delivery? Uh, have we got a notion of how the delivery terms and how the delivery costs work at the moment when we bring uh, product from the Ukraine into the European Union? So, uh, is there are there some guidelines that you could provide? Uh, on, on those, uh, because you ask straight away on your form for us to say, you know, how much we're looking to import, uh, etc. You want the income terms as well, and to be able to have those, I'd like to understand better um, what are the conditions and how does it work. This is the, the reason for my question. Is obviously with the Ukraine being at war, and um, I'm sure there are some slight differences to importing from another country, uh, as it's understandable. I just wanted to ask that. Have you got some guidelines or from past experience on how that works, please? Sure, thank you for your question. So for sure nowadays um, about the logistical part is not as before because our ports are closed. Anyways, uh, mostly now our export is working through the uh, land delivery. Like export is still running, companies are still working. Uh, even those companies, like we really give a huge respect to those who are working on the territories which are under attack. Even though they are working, they're exporting, they, uh, they are trying their best to stay on the level of the previous uh, manufacturing uh, capabilities. And they really do. So mostly now uh, everything is going uh, through the um, um, borders, which is uh, Hungary or uh, Poland. Uh, some of the companies even we have, they have representative offices in the European Union, so which is better for you and easier to export or they have warehouses and stocks there. Um, really, Ukrainian companies are adapting to uh, nowadays conditions. Uh, for sure, uh, there are risks like in every country in the world. So, uh, Basically, the terms of delivery, uh, of course, they are discussed mainly between uh, you and the exporter, the company, the Ukrainian company that will export. But what we can see and uh, what we can prove that Mazovny is uh, even helping, assisting in signing the contracts, and we have uh, signed contracts through the platform with the help of our diplomats. And the, we are exporting, so companies even exporting to USA. Uh, if it's a small batches, we even have uh, uh, partnering with uh, our uh, uh, local, um, how to say, post services. But uh, we have Nova Posta service that also uh, delivering all over the world. And uh, if it's like a big amount of uh, goods, then it will go with the trucks uh, through the borders. Thank you. So if we have any more issues and clarifications that you want to be clarified, please. Uh, good morning. Good morning. My name is Dimitri Kunia from Delta Cafes Company. I'd like to put a question that is uh, regarding this platform. This is just for imports from uh, exports from Ukraine to the other countries. Or also uh, the other way around, the, the sales from other countries to the imports of Ukraine. Uh, the fact is that uh, the main mission of Nazovny platform uh, is promote Ukrainian export and help Ukrainian manufacturers uh, to find international markets and go abroad. Uh, this is main mission and main goal for us. Uh, so we promote exactly Ukrainian export, not import for now. 
but uh, we have some cases uh, when we have requ requests from our uh, local producers to find importers um, in the world because uh, due the war uh, some of our producers uh, have uh, a lack of some raw materials yes and uh, they ask uh, us to find importer uh, in the world and uh, in these cases we of course help them to find uh, importers and to import uh, some raw materials that will need in their production after that this uh, product Producted uh, goods will be exported abroad. In this case, we help. But uh, as I mentioned before, the main goal uh, of our platform is to promote exactly export. Thank you so much. Thank Do we have any more questions, please? We can take this opportunity. It seems that at the moment we will not have any more issues or questions. Anyway, I would like to say that we will provide you with all the presentations that were able to introduce to you in this section and also the context direct on the seven of the of the, the, the Ukrainian embassy in Portugal that would uh, be in contact with you and clarify other uh, issues that you may have. Well, if we do not have any more questions, uh, I would like to thank you to all our audience, our companies that were with us in this morning, in this session. And of course, a special, special and warm thank you to our embassy and uh, its excellent ambassador of Ukraine in Portugal and all the staff of the foreign minister of Ukraine and responsible for this platform. Uh, I hope to have to see you all in the one uh, next uh, section. Thank you so much for your presence and presence. And of course, have a nice day. Thank you so much. Thank you.